For this video, you'll need your selected yarn. I'm using red and white. You'll also need a four millimeter crochet hook, a small pom pom, a yarn needle, and a pair of scissors. This is a very quick project. It takes you hardly 15 minutes and I'm planning on making a lot of these. You'll be starting your work with a slip knot and a chain of 15. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Now you're going to fold your chain and make a slip stitch into the first stitch you made initially. There you go. Now you're going to chain one. This chain one does not count as a stitch. And you're going to make a single crochet in each stitch around. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. And you're going to make a slip stitch into the first single crochet you made. Now I'm going to turn my work inside out like I want my hook to be outside of my work. I'm going to chain one and I'm going to make another round of single crochets. So round one and round two. Are single crochets with the contrasting color that you have in mind or the base color so make this row of single crochets and I'll meet you at the end of this row okay so I've reached my last stitch and I'm going to finish this stitch with my red yarn And I'm going to make a knot so that my work doesn't come undone. And I'm going to cut the white yarn. I'm going to snip it off here. And I'm going to slip stitch in the first stitch. And I'm going to carry both my tails so that I can snip them off later. Okay, now I'm going to chain one. And from row three, four, five, and six, I'm going to make single crochets. That means your next four rounds are going to have single crochets. 15 single crochets all around but in a different color so carry on making single crochets for the next four rounds and I'm going to meet you at the end of round number 
four in red. Round number six in total. Round number four in red. Okay, so I'm done with my round number four in red. If you want, you can leave it here and fasten off, leaving a long tail. But I want to add another row of single crochets. So I'm going to have a total of five rows in red and two rows in white. That's a total of seven rows of single crochets. There you go. I'm done with my last row. I'm going to leave a long tail. Now what you're going to do is that you're going to yarn your needle. There you go. And you're going to go in and out of your stitches from the very top. Like this. In from one out from the other, in from one, out from the other. In, out, in, out. Once you reach the end, you're going to pull on your tail, like this. And then you're going to just move your needle, making sure that you're taking stitches from both the sides to close it further. There you go. Okay, once you're done doing that, move your needle to the middle here, take your pom-pom, these felt pom-poms are the easiest ones to work with, and then just sew your pom-pom on top of your hat, see? can't even see the thread Or even if you want, you can even glue your pom-pom on. Whichever way seems easier to you. If you don't have much time to sew it on, just glue it on. There you go. And now what I'm going to do is that with the same thread that I'm using, I'm going to loop it a little bit like this. And keeping my finger in the loop for as big as I want it, I'm going to make a knot
here. There you go. And then you go inside your book. And you got your thread off. There you go. Sew the stain in and I'll meet you with the finished product once we are done. Okay, so I'm done sewing my ends in and my ornament is ready. This is a very quick project and you can make them in different colors to hang on your Christmas trees. You can even make them upside down and put a chocolate in them or anything you want. If you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. And in the next video, we'll be making another quick ornament. Till then, take care. Bye.